On this edition of EDR Tech, we're going to be going over everything you need to know about being a Bosch CDR software subscription holder. Now, whether you're a brand new CDR user, have taken over the CDR program for your company or agency, or have been using the CDR tool for some time, there are often some common questions relating to how to install and activate the software on your computer, as well as how the subscription works and what to expect as a subscription holder. Bosch CDR software is sold in the form of a subscription because it's constantly being updated. New vehicle coverage, changes or fixes to existing data parameters, firmware updates, and changes to the software platform itself are all contained in software updates. In this video, we'll discuss some details about how the Bosch software license system works, including email privacy laws that require certain procedures to set up a new account or make changes to an existing account. We'll go over computer system requirements, activation certificates, and step-by-step -step instructions on how to install and activate the CDR software program. Lastly, we'll talk about software patches, which typically contain minor additions or revisions to a full version of the CDR software program. First, let's talk a little bit about the Bosch Software License Management System. This is an automated system that sends the software activation certificates, or license keys, to active CDR software subscribers. The activation certificates are sent via email as an attachment. The system will also automatically send you a renewal notice when it's time to renew your subscription. Now, the Bosch system only allows for a single email address per software account. We often get asked to add multiple email addresses to be included in the Bosch emails, and the Bosch system just doesn't allow for that. Email privacy laws have been enacted that require certain opt-in procedures to either establish a new account or make changes to the email address in an existing account. For new CDR users that are initializing a new CDR software account, there are a couple things that need to be completed before the Bosch system can be triggered to send you a software activation certificate. Upon your initial purchase, the Bosch system will send an email to the email address that you provided to Crash Data Group. A link will be contained in the email directing you to the Bosch Software License Management System to set up your account. This link is only valid for 30 days. If you do not complete the setup process within that time, all information related to your account will be deleted from the Bosch system, so it's really important to act on this as soon as possible. From here, you'll need to create a username and a password for your CDR software account. You'll also need to agree to their email privacy terms. Once you enter all the required information, click on Change Credentials. And that's all you need to do at this point. The system will notify Crash Data Group that you've completed this process, and Crash Data Group will then trigger the system to email you the activation certificate file. At this point, you're an active CDR software subscription holder, and everything we'll cover from here on out is now applicable to you. Changing the email address in the Bosch system for existing account holders also requires an opt-in process for the new email recipient. To change the email address, we need someone with access to the new email account to call Crash Data Group. While on the phone with you, we'll update the Bosch system with the new email address. The Bosch system will send an email to the new address and the Crash Data Group representative will walk you through a few quick steps to authorize the change. Now let's talk about computer system requirements. The Bosch CDR software program must be installed on a computer with a Windows-based operating system. The CDR software is not compatible with Mac operating systems, and it's not compatible with Chrome operating systems found on Chromebooks or similar devices. The CDR software program is pretty basic. A minimum 1 GHz processor and 256 megs of RAM is required to operate the software program. Lastly, you'll need a computer with two USB ports. Use of a multi-port USB hub will not work. Whenever you purchase a new software subscription and have completed the opt-in requirements or a new version of CDR software is released within your subscription period, you'll receive an email with installation instructions and a software activation certificate in the form of an attachment. The email contains some important information. First, the email is sent from boschlicenses at us.bosch.com, not from Crash Data Group. As a Bosch distributor, Crash Data Group has limited access to the Bosch Software License Management System. Crash Data Group triggers the Bosch system to send an activation certificate upon purchase. It's recommended that you whitelist or make Bosch licenses a safe sender in your email system. 
your Bosch user ID and the company or agency name that the license was issued to are located at the bottom of the email in small print. The number of subscriptions and your current expiration date are indicated here. Installation instructions and links to download the current version of the CDR software are contained in the body of the email. Save the activation certificate attachment to a thumb drive or directly to a folder on your computer you're going to install the software on. Copy paste, save as, etc. You'll need to browse to the location you save the file later on to activate the software. Do not double click on or attempt to open the activation certificate file or the file may become corrupted. Now you're ready to install and activate the software program. First, click on the software download link contained in the email or visit the CDR software release page on Bosch's website. It's BoschCDRTool.com. Once on the current CDR software release page, click on the CDRSetup.zip link under Software Release to start downloading the CDR software program. The download status will appear on your computer. And this may appear different depending on the web browser you're using. When the download is complete, open or run the downloaded file. A window will open with the CDR setup file. Select the file and click on open. Wait just a moment for the Bosch CDR software setup wizard to open and then select next to continue. You must accept the license agreement to proceed. Read the license agreement, click on I agree and then click next. Continue to read the information provided and click Next. An additional Tasks window will appear, allowing you to customize CDR taskbar and shortcut functions. Select any features you wish and then select Next. The Ready to Install window will now appear, indicating the program file location and selected options. Click on Install to continue. The status of the install will be indicated with a progress bar. Now you may see a notice indicating that a CDR device firmware update is required for the version of CDR software you're installing. Click on the Close this window to complete CDR installation button. A reminder to view the What's new in this version section of the help file will appear. Select Next to continue. Once the install is complete, click on Finish. You'll be prompted to install the USB to serial software driver. This driver must be installed on your computer to use the USB to serial cable with the CAM Plus interface module. And we'll go over how to download and install the driver in just a minute. Close all of the open windows and return to your desktop. A CDR icon and a VCI manager icon have been placed on your desktop. The CDR icon is used to launch the CDR software program. The VCI Manager icon opens the VCI Manager, which is used to set up and program the CDR900. The CDR software was installed as the Help File Reader Only option. Let's talk briefly about the Help File Reader Only option. Now this option is free and available for anyone to download. As the name implies, the Help File Reader Only option allows anyone to access the help file of the CDR software program, primarily the Vehicle and Cable Lookup section. Now this section is used to determine CDR support for a specific year, make, and model of a vehicle, as well as the required CDR hardware needed to perform a download. A data hyperlink is also contained in this section that will indicate the types of data likely to be captured in a particular vehicle system. The free help file reader only option of the software does not allow one to open a CDR data file for translation and or view, save, or print a corresponding CDR report. You'll need an activated version of the CDR software to perform those functions. The activated version of the software also provides for EDR data download capability using the Bosch CDR tool hardware components. You'll need to activate the software with a corresponding activation certificate file to unlock the full function capability of the CDR software. Open the CDR software program on your computer. The version of CDR software installed on your computer is indicated here. Click on the Activate icon on the toolbar. Browse to where you saved the activation certificate file on your computer. Double click on or open the activation certificate file. Several windows will open regarding the end user license agreement. Read the license agreement and click on Agree or Accept as applicable and click Continue in each window. The Activate icon will disappear indicating your CDR software is now activated. 
The company or agency name the software is licensed to is now indicated in the bottom left corner of the screen. You can deactivate the software on your computer if you need to transfer the license to another computer. To deactivate the software, click on the Setup drop-down menu and click on Deactivate CDR. The Activate icon will reappear on the toolbar, indicating that the software on this computer is no longer activated. To reactivate the software on this computer, click on the Activate icon and follow the instructions as we previously discussed. As mentioned earlier, you'll need to install the USB to Serial software driver on your computer. This driver is needed for your computer to use the USB to serial cable with the CAN Plus interface module. The driver only needs to be installed once, so if you've previously installed it with a prior version of the CDR software, there's no need to reinstall it. Do not have the USB to serial cable plugged into your computer during the software driver installation process. To download the driver, go to Bosch's website at boschcdrtool.com, Go to the current CDR software release page. There you'll see two USB serial driver installer zip files, one labeled specifically for Windows 11 and the other without a specific Windows version listed. If your computer utilizes Windows 7 through Windows 10, click on the nondescript option. The download status will appear on your computer. Now again, this may appear different depending on the web browser you're using. When the download is complete, open or run the downloaded file. A window will open with a USB serial driver installer file. Double click on or open the file. An install wizard will open. Select next to continue. Once the install is complete, select finish. The USB to serial software driver is now installed on your computer. There's just one small difference if you're using a computer with Windows 11. If that's the case, Click on the Windows 11 zip file. Once the file is downloaded, open or run the file. A window will appear with a prolific driver installer folder. Double click on it to open the folder. Here you'll see several different files, including two application files. The larger of the two, labeled M Logo Driver Setup, is the only one to concern yourself with. Double click on or open that file and then the install is the same as the one we just discussed. Now let's talk about software patches. Occasionally, Bosch releases software patches in between full version releases. A software patch typically includes minor revisions to the software or added vehicle coverage. Active CDR software subscription holders will receive an email directly from Bosch if and when a software patch is released. A software patch can be identified by a version number containing two decimal points, 23.0.2 for example. The base version contains one decimal point, 23.0 for example. You must have the full base version installed before you can install a software patch. For example, 23.0 is the base version and must be installed before you can install the 23.0.2 software patch. Bosch does not issue new activation certificates for software patches. The base version activation certificate will activate a corresponding software patch. The procedure to install a software patch is the same as installing a full version of the software. Download the patch.zip file from Bosch's website, unzip the file, run the setup.exe file, and follow the instructions. And that's it for this edition of EDR Tech. I hope you have a better understanding of how the Bosch CDR software management system works, how to set up and install the CDR software program, and what to expect as a CDR software subscription holder. Now if there's a topic you'd like to see covered on a future edition of EDR Tech, please let us know. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and you'll be notified when next month's edition has been posted. And as always, if you have any questions about any of the EDR retrieval tools, Bosch, Hyundai, Kia, or Tesla, just give us a call or go to crashdatagroup.com.